Uh, Marcus Garvey was inspired by the uh, Haitian Revolution, so was Nat Turner. Actually, the red, black, and green flag is just a cut off from the Haitian flag because the first flag was Absolutely red and black. Right. So Garvey was definitely influenced by the Haitian Revolution and Dessalines. When you look at pictures of Marcus Garvey, many people will suggest that he's dressed like Dessalines. The red, black, and green flag, the flag, the original flag of Haiti, is the black and red flag put forth by Dessalines. And so Garvey added the green to it, but Garvey never used it as a flag, he used it as a banner, and it wasn't red, black, and green. It was black, red, and green just like the Haitian flag with the green being added. I understand that Haiti is, and I stand by this, the first Pan-African movement. The only country in the world that did not allow slavery was Haiti, and not only did not allow it, but the only country in the world that put its natural resources towards fighting against any oppression was Haiti. Simon Bolivar, who liberated South America, anyone who knows the history knows it was Haiti that gave him the money, outfitted him with ships to start the struggle. And the Haitians demanded only one thing of Bolivar. When you free Venezuela, when you free Colombia, when you free Argentina, when you free Peru, free the slaves. We're going to go on over to Haiti and visit the Revolutionary Trail. The Haitian Revolution was considered the birthing point for Pan-Africanism, if you're taking notes. The Haitian Revolution, because the Haitian Revolution that was led by Bookman Dada, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Henry Christophe, and Toussaint Overture was Pan-African in scope. They wanted to free Haiti, and then from Haiti, it was going to spread across the world, liberating all black folk. Family, I stand here in Savannah, Georgia, in front of a monument that was erected for the Haitians that came here to America to fight in what is now known as the Battle of Savannah in October of 1776. A fundamental battle that helped America win this independence from Great Britain. Now why is this statue uh, synonymous or should be synonymous with the ideas and principles of Pan-Africanism? Because the Haitians at that time had one wish from the American government at that time. If we help you win your independence from Great Britain, you have to free your African slaves. We will send soldiers to help you win your independence from Great Britain, but you have to free African slaves. And America agreed and said, yes, if we win our independence from Great Britain, if you send us soldiers, Haiti, at the time it was called Saint Domingue. If you send us soldiers to help us win this war, we will free our slaves. And as we know, historically speaking, that did not take place. Haiti became the place to be defeated. Haiti committed the greatest sin at that time. It called on enslaved people from wherever in the world they were to come to Haiti. And Haiti, they would receive political asylum, and they would receive Haitian citizenship, and Haiti would go to war to defend their freedom. That was a big blow. Ultimately, if I, if I wanted to find out why any black nation failed, I would, I would go to the most recent one, because the most recent one works by our recent standards of governing and governance, and that would be Haiti. Why did Haiti fail? Haiti was, was sabotaged by France. Haiti was looted, and she was sanctioned globally. Haiti offered any blacks anywhere in the hemisphere, from the Dominican Republic, the United States, if you can escape from slavery and get here, you're a free man and we protect the integrity of your freedom. That is what the anger against Haiti was about. Haiti was the first free republic that offered freedom to any enslaved people. Yes. If we take a little look at the constitution of this country, the first constitution, the only valid constitution, constitution of 1805, states clearly this land is the land for all black folks yes. states clearly any black person landing here becomes automatically free and a citizen mm -hmm. states clearly no white man has the right to buy property here or walk as master on this land yes. 